A teacher takes a hand, opens a mind, and touches a heart. This aptly describes a pre-primary teacher. Getting through the day with a bunch of active, bubbly toddlers require a lot of patience, creativity, endurance, and above all, indulgence. Their role is very important as early learning experiences are crucial factors for emotional, cognitive, social, physical, and intellectual development. I remember one preschool teacher saying, there is nothing more inspiring than to see the face of a child who has mastered a new skill or conquered a challenge. I now invite our energetic and motivating pre-primary school teachers for their presentation. I'm Niyati, representing pre-primary section, along with my colleagues, Sujata ma'am, Najuk ma'am, and Minakshi ma'am. We all are very happy to be here at the annual Teachers' Conference of Udgam School for Children. Pre-primary section is the foundation of the school as well as of the children. As we all know, the youngest lot comes to us from a very comfortable, homely environment. They are nurtured here with lots of love and care, and gradually, they spread their wings and soar high. Teaching children is an accomplishment, but getting them excited for learning is an achievement. That's the reason we make new plans every year, and some of them are turn out, some of them are turn out to be very successful and satisfactory. Such as nursery timings are increased from three hours to four hours this year. Hence, we introduced new extra activities and repeated the old ones. Children got extra practice for the betterment of their fine and gross motor skills, along with the clarity of concepts. Secondly, with this commencing year, we have introduced a fruit break to inculcate healthy eating habit at this very tender age, which has developed a sense of independence, sharing, and table manners, which of course have satisfied the parents. As we all know, the fear of unknown is extremely high in children as well as in parents. It has been observed that the children are cranky while transiting from one standard to the next. To overcome this situation, school has made it a practice to introduce the teachers of upcoming class well in advance to establish the familiarity with the students. Looking at the previous feedback of parents regarding students being hesitant to speak in English, monthly elocutions, increased number of reading classes, as well as conversing in English after the mid-session were made compulsory, which improved their vocabulary. They also overcame stage fright, resulting into confident children. We have also successfully celebrated number of festivals, celebrations, as well as educational trips throughout the year. Daddy's Day Out, celebrated by playgroup, where the fathers spent their precious time enjoying with their toddlers and reliving their own childhood memories. <laughs> Grandparents' Day, celebrated by nursery group, where grandparents were overwhelmed watching their grandchildren perform on stage. Sports day, were, sports day was organized by junior group, where children learned discipline and team spirit. Yoga was introduced for the very first time, and it was appreciated to such an extent that school is planning regular yoga sessions for the children. Fancy dress program was organized by senior group. Children showcased their vocal talent on the world of advertisement. <laughs> Children of junior and senior group were taken to an educational tour to CEE. Information regarding botanical terms like seeds, plants, trees, 
functions of roots, herbs, shrubs, etc., was provided on the nature's walk during the on the nature's walk by the staff. While junior KG kids made pictures of giraffe and snail with the help of dry leaves and sticks, senior KG kids were thrilled to have their hands-on experience with the potter's wheel. The young eyes sparkled with joy looking at their own creations. Children are often fascinated with the stories of moons and stars. To enhance the imagination and to impart knowledge, a trip was planned to ISRO where they were exposed to different aspects of solar system like day and night phenomenon, revolution of planets around the sun, natural and artificial satellites, etc. A short film depicting the launch of the satellite as well as the life of an astronaut in the outer space were also shown, which was the highlight of the day. This year, for the first time, our kids have not only participated in mass spell B competitive exams, but have also achieved ranks at inter-school levels. Other events like Ganesh Chaturthi, Janmashtami, Independence Day, Navratri, etc., were celebrated joyfully along with the skits and the performances. Excitement dies if you don't have drive to strive for more. More number of PTMs. To update the parents about the performance of their wards at regular interval, we are planning for increased number of PTMs. Photo albums. To give the glimpse of various activities performed by children in the class, the school has come up with the idea of creating a class-wise photo album for easy access of the parents. Involvement of parents in different activities. As Daddy's Day and Grandparents' Day were celebrated successfully this year too, Poor mothers felt left out and they requested school for their active participation with their wards. So we are planning various activities for them to satisfy them as well. More educational trips. Children grasp more from practical experience and it is very exciting, exciting for them to learn new concepts in an unconventional manner. Once again, we prove this to our trips to CE and ISRO. The concept once taught in the backdrop of classroom has a more prominent engraved effects on young mind for a lasting impression. Hence, we look forward for more plans, trips like this. Trials cloud for nursery. To appreciate and motivate the children in different aspects, we are going to introduce trials card for nursery as it has shown effective results in senior and junior group. Positive feedbacks are always appreciated, but we believe in scope for improvement. As per the parents' feedback, multiple languages are used in school. As we know, preschool is the second home for children and the teachers are their second mothers. As the child takes his first step into the preschool, he doesn't care how much we know until he knows how much we care. Hence, as preschool teachers, we are required to use multiple languages. And once they are comfortable, this is what they are groomed into. So, ladies and gentlemen, may I please draw your attention to this video of a nursery kid performing live on Grandparents' Day. moment for the teachers. Well, as for the PTMs, the ratio of parents who are uncomfortable with English is higher as compared to the parents who are thorough with the language. In that case, to fulfill the agenda of the PTM, it requires the usage of multiple languages. 
keeping all this in mind we will execute our new plans of the upcoming session with great zest determination and optimism with this i along with my colleagues thank you for being such a wonderful audience and surely we will come back with many more success stories and positive feedbacks next year thank you i would now like to invite our non teaching staff for the presentation they are the backbone of our institution and their unflinching support Hello. and involvement are instrumental for the smooth functioning of our school hi good afternoon all of you my name is atiksha i am activity coordinator she is my colleague ishita she is ea2 executive director we are here to present the presentation of non teaching staff we have considerably a large non teaching staff group in our school we take care of core back end activities that help us to smooth functioning of the school together we have achieved a success in several things unfortunately we failed failures too while our achievements of last academic year are quite interesting and the plan for this year are wonderful too and i'm sure together we'll achieve it now let me start the small presentation i would like to share the success story of last year this is a very important part in a school don't laugh on it uh well we have installed a washroom a new fantastic washroom in each and every floor the waterless urinals and automatic switch off tap helped helped us to uh, to uh, you know to the factor of have added to a germ free 100% hand dryers have added to a germ free factor we have helped us to save a lots of water annually uh i think on an optimistic note i can say that the ratio of a student absentees has been fall down i this is this is one of a part already primary took the credit for that so this is quite interesting mobile app believe me no other school has such a comprehensive and interactive communication tool for the parents where t where pa no, somebody is clapping <laughs> where the parents are getting all the information of their child in real time it's very easy to use parents get a quick access to assignments notebook a uh, leave result uh worksheets uh through this application excuse me again other sections are taking credit for this <laughs> <laughs> so did non teaching do it or it's the it's credit teachers? for ours it's achievements of a school oh, so school. let them take a credit uh yes solar power panels has been installed at jodhpur campus this have saved the power and this have cut down the electricity bill to a large extent yes english speaking session our school is an english medium school it is very important for our staff for our teachers to be fluent in english the special session has been arranged by our expert trainers those uh, to to improve the start fluency in english with both in uh, written and a spoken with the evaluation implemented for each participant health check up for a staff as a noble gestures on a women's day true true 
our teachers and staff were given a comprehensive health checkup. This helped to bring the for the fitness level of a staff, also to take a remedial measure to increase the health awareness. As I've told you, we face the failures too. These are, here are the failure points. Health age transport. We tried, but we failed, as probably the systems were out of our order. Fortunately, at Jodhpur campus, we have successfully solved the problem of transport. Believe me, 60% students are using a school transportation. Isn't it a good news? <laughs> Delay in construction. We tried, but some issues that were out of beyond, beyond our control. We could not complete the construction work at Jodhpur campus. Response time for facility and maintenance. 